You're listening to Daily Applications with Pastor Marcus D. King. Tune in this week for the topic, The Blind Side. Do you ever feel like you can't see what Jesus is doing in your life? It seems as if you are on the blind side of the road. Well, just know that even if you can't see Jesus, he can still see you. Your miracle is closer than you think. Remember, God doesn't have a blind side, but sees everything you're going through. So get ready to shout for the breakthrough that is coming your way. So take notes and receive part three of this week's message for your daily application. Mercy is the attitude of God toward the person who's in distress. And what he's saying is I need you to have the right attitude around my situation. Notice he didn't ask for grace. He asked for mercy because grace is God's response to people who've broken the law. And what he's saying is, Jesus, I know I done messed up before, but I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your grace. So right now I'm coming to the throne of grace so that I can find mercy. For my, am I talking to somebody? What he's saying is I need some mercy for my situation. So here they are. Jesus, son of David, have mercy. On us. Won't you just say that? Look at your bills and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy. Come on, look at your mind and how you can't sleep at night. Jesus, son of David, look at you ain't got over your mama's death. It's been 10 years. Jesus, son of David, you ain't got over that breakup. It's been a long time. Jesus, you ain't got over what happened to you last month and last week. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. You got to find somebody you can shout with. Can you find somebody you can shout with? See, you got to shout with them. You can't say hallelujah. You got to say hallelujah. I'm going to shout because even though I'm blind, I ain't stupid. I recognize I wouldn't even be here with these blinded eyes, but I thank God I still got my hearing. I thank God I still got my legs. I thank God I still got my feet. I thank God I still got my voice. Can you shout over what you have left? You ain't got the car, but you still got transportation on the bus. You ain't got the house, but you still got a roof over your head. You ain't got friends, but you got a friend that sticks. Am I talking to somebody? Shout over what you have left. Jesus, son of David. I'm going to just stay right here. Jesus, son of David. I know the crowd telling me to shut up and stop. Jesus, son of David. I got to take it up off to Jesus, son of David. I got to take it up with Jesus, son of David. Have mercy on us. Oh, he's sitting there. I can't see him. You ever, you ever been where you just can't see Jesus, but you know he's around somewhere? I know he's around. I know he's around. I know he's around, so I can't stop calling him. I, I've been praying, but I can't hear no answer. I've been fasting, but I ain't got no answer. But if I just keep on hollering, not by myself, because sometimes I get tired, and I don't think he's going to hear me. But if I get a tag team partner that will shout out with me. I know he's here. I know he's here. I know he's here. I told him, shut up. When you're desperate, you got to tune folk out. They don't know why you come to the altar. They don't know what you're struggling with. They don't know what you got to pray about every day. They just see you up here standing and praising. They don't know you're about to get four clothes on. They don't know that you got some, some issue that nobody knows about. You shout anyway. Let them judgmental people try to shut you up. And matter of fact, you trying to tell me I'm out of order. You following the crowd that's out of order. So since guess what? I'm the only one in order. I see him for who he is. You just with him for what you want. Check out what he's doing. Look at your text. Goes on. Jesus standing there. Walking along. And when he's walking on the road, the blind men are on his blind side. I wish I would help you. I wish I help you understand. See, see, the crowd didn't stop. And Jesus didn't stop. But you gotta find someone you can sit with. You gotta find someone you can seek with. You gotta find someone you can shout with. Can I tell you what the next thing you gotta do? You got to find someone you can stop Jesus with. 
Okay, you missed that. You missed that. You missed that. Text says, Jesus is walking along. And because they elevated their shout to another level, he stopped. Oh, God. When's the last time you stopped Jesus? It wasn't just because they were shouting. It's because of the revelation they were shouting. They recognized who he was. Notice the crowd, he just kept walking. But when somebody called him his name, okay, I wish I had somebody right now. When somebody identified with his Messiahhood, with his goodness, with his grace, with his mercy, with his power, he just had to stop. And all I'm trying to tell you, you got to find somebody you can stop Jesus with. Oh, but I can't stop there. Jesus stopped, and they were shouting. Oh, you, you missed this. They still shouting, and Jesus is looking at them. They can't see he's looking because they can't see him. But if they stop shouting, he might keep walking. But because they keep shouting, he keeps looking. Okay, I'm trying to help you understand something. You might stop. You might be ready to give up and don't recognize God has turned to you. But because you can't see him, you got to keep on shouting until what takes place next. Jesus stopped and asked him a question. Jesus said, what do you want me to do to you? Okay, you missed this. Jesus says, I'm going to give two for the price of one. Okay, I'm okay. Be careful when you shout. Because Jesus, DJ, just might ask you, what do you want? Okay, no, no. Jesus looking at them and know that they're blind. But he's asking them, what do you want? Be careful after you shout. That's why when you come to church, you make sure you shout as loud as you can. Because when you shout, people don't know your need. And Jesus is looking at one need, but asking you a question. What do you want me to do for you? Here I am, Jesus. Look at what they say in the text. We, not I. That's why you got to get somebody with you. Because you don't know what they need. And they don't know what you need. But because these two brothers already knew they were blind, they both need, needed a blessing. Can you grab somebody right now and say, we need a blessing. Don't grab nobody who can't even talk because guess what? They're going to hint you your blessing. Matter of fact, grab somebody who can open their mouth and ain't too cute and say, we need a blessing. I, and look at them and say, I don't know what your, bl your bl blessing is. I don't know what your blessing is. But right now, we're going to cry together. Jesus, we. Now, see, you got to get real right now. You, you can't see your blessing. You can't see your breakthrough. But you got to see it in the spirit. When I ask him for it, when he asks me the question, I'm ready to give him the answer. I dare somebody right now to shout right now what you need. Jesus is asking you a question, right? What do you want me to do? Don't ask him if you ain't been shouting. But if you have been shouting for him, I dare you to shout it out right now. If you need a new car, say new car. If you need a new mind, new mind. If you need healing, say heal. I dare you to shout. I need some serious people right now. I, I need some blind side people right now who say, I believe this by faith. I can't see it, but I trust him because I'm talking to him even though I can't see him. And he's asking me, what do I want? I dare you to just shout it loud right now. I, I dare you. you. You can't be cute. You blind. Don't close your eyes if you worry about somebody looking at you stupid. You've been down here too long. You've been broke too long. You've been hurt too long. You've been lost too long. Shout for what you need right now. Shout for what you're asking for right now. Don't you holler at him and then don't ask him for what you need. <laughs> I'm getting excited by myself. Matter of fact, can you just shout and say, God, whatever you want to do, any way you bless me, I'll be satisfied. Any way you bless me, I'll praise your name. Any way you bless me, I'll shout for joy. Any way you bless me, I'm blind. I just want to live. I just want to be in your presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you don't bless my eyes, bless my mind. 
bless my soul bless my heart right now in the name of Jesus I'm going to shout till my blessing comes I'm going to shout till the valley is fun right now in the name 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 I ain't got my sight yet but I'm shouting on faith I'm shouting on the last time and the last time and the last time and the last time and the last time you brought me out thank you right now that what you are about to do is change my life change my mind change my soul change my heart change my job change my soul hallelujah 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 shout 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 <laughs> See, when you're shouting blind, you don't know where you are. But it don't matter. You just thank him in the dark. You can praise him. There it is. There it is. There it is. Shout. Stop Jesus together. Oh, but Jesus said, what do you want me to do? We want to see. Jesus, we don't want you to give us no money. If you give us eyes, we'll go get our money. Okay. See. I want you to see something. God will do for you what he needs to do and give you the ability to do the rest for yourself. John, I don't want you to clear my debt. I want you to give me a job so I can get out my own debt. But then, as they got their sight, they were able to see. You know what takes place? They were excited. And what takes place next? Text says they were able to serve together. Okay, you missed that. It said they got their sight and they followed Jesus. Amazing. They ain't never seen him before. But something about when he heals you, you ain't got to ask nobody who he is. Am, am I talking to somebody? Anybody got to ask who Jesus is? Who knows him for yourself right now? Rem Jones, they're not getting the message. So I got to go when I was younger. When we were kids in Terrell, Texas, we would be in the, in the street playing. Playing with our balls, running, throwing football, playing softball, doing whatever. But all of a sudden, that would be a noise. We couldn't see it, but we heard it. It was in the distance. Give me some mercy. Y'all must know that sound. All of a sudden, we start dancing to the beat. Because we knew what that was. Because we tasted it before. Thank you for listening to today's Daily Applications. If you would like to purchase a copy of today's message or make a donation, look us up online at www.jc3online.org or call 972-224-9940. We'd love to have you join us for one of our three worship services at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., or 12 noon. 
JC3 Johnson Chapel Community Church is located at 1400 Northampton Road in the beautiful city of DeSoto, Texas. You've been listening to Daily Applications with Pastor Marcus D. King. And remember to apply the word daily.